Greetings, friends. I'm Dr. Dwayne McKee, president of Adventist World Radio. I'm here with my friend Wee Somali. We're at Nazareth, our, our center of evangelism and radio studio. Wiesem, it's great to be here with you. It's a pleasure. This looks beautiful. We are, we've been dreaming about this for three years, I think. Almost, yeah. Almost three yeah. years. And mm -hmm. COVID kind of set yeah, us away right. back and stopped the construction. Yeah. Wow. Well, show us around. I want to see what's happening here in our center. Our people are interested in this. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Uh, and thank you very much for bringing the dreams here to be true. Amen. Yeah? In purchasing this floor, first of all, and secondly, yeah, in building this radio station. It's a blessing for us That's as right. Seventh day Adventists here, That's right. but also for the people of Nazareth. That's right. But not just Nazareth. But other places too? Yes. Where? Palestine? Yeah. Of course, we have five million Muslims living there. Wow! And, and, the, and they, the they, speak, they all speak the same language? Speaking Arabic, and they never heard of the message of Jesus Christ. Wow! Yes. <laughs> it can reach also to Jordan on the other yeah. side. Of okay. course, we have in the north Syria and Lebanon. Yes, of course. So that's our dream, that we'll reach the gospel yeah, to the whole world, broadcast to baptism. Oh, that, that's what that sign says up here, exactly. isn't it? Broadcast, that's yes. what AWR is all about. Amen. Broadcast to baptism. Amen. 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 Thank you, Wiesa. Yeah. Praise this. the Lord. So here is actually where we have the uh, waiting room okay. with the secretary. On the left-hand side, we will have the IT room uh -huh. here. We have the meeting room uh, on, this, on the right-hand side with the offices inside. Yes. And behind us there, we will have uh, the studio and the recording uh, studio. There. Oh, wow, I'd like to see that. Can you show of it course. to us? Go let's, let's, go, let's go and have Welcome. a look. Weeson, this is fantastic. This is wonderful if we look at this radio station and eventually also the, the Evangelism Center. T tell me what, where we're at right now. What, what, what are the, all, what's all this stuff in our face? Well, we, have, we are here now at the live studio. Yeah. And uh, from here, we will be broadcasting to the world. Wow. The good news of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. And um, we try to use the colors that it will match, you know, the local people as well sure, and sure. the comfort of the people. By, uh, by God's grace, it came like so beautiful the way you see it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, you told me about this table. It, it was probably made in, in China or someplace, you think? No, that's no. Uh, when, we, when I heard about the, the, the challenges that some places they faced with their tables and the microphone. Uh -huh that uh, the quality of the wood was not the best. Uh -huh. We decided here that uh, with a friend of mine who's a Muslim, uh -huh. you know, that he will make for us special tables from wow. this special full wood. It's full wood. And okay. it will last, he said to me, until Jesus will come. <laughs> <laughs> so That's praise good. the Lord. This is made in Cana, you said? Where, in Cana of Galilee. Where Jesus had his first miracle. Yes, that's right. Wow. That's and that's right. the wood from Cana. That's right. And we're using it right here in our studio. That's right. That is just, just amazing. One thing, that as, as we'll look in just a few minutes, mm -hmm. Louis Torres and others, we'll have trainers that will come. We have an evangelism center in Iceland, I just mentioned, mm -hmm. that's for Europe, ASI Europe. And, and we also will have an evangelism center right here downstairs. Yeah. Some of the programs that we record, we'll send those programs to some other Arab Muslim mm -hmm. areas in the world, like uh, Bangladesh. Wow, praise the Lord. We'll have, but, well, but the problem is the language. You know, in Bang Bangladesh we have... They don't speak uh, Arabic. They don't speak Arabic. Well, we've got to figure that out. So it needs to be translated. It does. We'll have yeah, to translate that. But so you'll come up with the basic programs here. That's right. In English and in mm -hmm. uh, Arabic. In English and Arabic we will do that here, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, it can be sent wherever Forever. It, it will yeah. be of use. We'll have an evangelism center, four of them actually in Bangladesh and one That's in South lot. Africa and, and yeah. uh, near Johannesburg. And so. then we'll have one here. Right here. That's yes. right. But this is the best. We have mm -hmm. lots of wonderful things happening. Well, this one and the one in South Africa, mm -hmm. those are the, the two very best in the world. Praise the Lord. Praise Thank the you. Lord. Yeah. It's your vision. That, uh, well, it's it's our vision, all of us, and we praise the Lord Jesus Christ that He, through the Holy Spirit, He brought this dream to uh, to be true. Amen, amen. And it's coming true now. It's and just uh, we praise His name for praise that. God. Yeah. Why don't we go downstairs to the yeah. Evangelism Center where the training goes? We'll take Louis Torres with us, yeah. and we can talk about what's going to happen there. Okay, let's go. Okay, good. Weesom, this is fantastic. This is beyond belief. 
I, I just, this is a dream come true. Right, right here will be our center for training evangelism. I mean, we have several of these around the world. Yeah, I've told you about some yeah. of them. Oh, this is Louis Torres, Dr. Torres. You're our main trainer around the world. You just were in Iceland. Tell us, tell us what's happening. What do, you, what do you see happening here in Nazareth? What's exciting is that this is the reality of a dream that was uh, dreamed some time ago, where as AWR 360 from broadcast to baptism, is a concept that includes not just the bombardment of the radio waves and sending in information by the radio and um, media, etc., but it also provides for the ground troops on the ground in their boots actually working in places that otherwise the radio is not effectively able to accomplish. In other words, we have both the air power and the ground power. And so the schools of training are for the purpose of putting boots on the ground in order to give Bible studies personal contact and lead the people not just from broadcasting, but to baptism. So we have a school in Thailand, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and of course Iceland, and then Victoria, South Africa, exactly. And now we are officially opening a center of training in Nazareth, right in the place where Jesus grew up. Exciting. What do you think? Don't you think? Isn't this just thrilling, Lisa? It's wonderful. Wow, right right here where Jesus grew up. And we're going to reach, as you said, this whole Arab world That's where Jesus will produce programs here that can be translated and used all over the world. Louis, we're so thrilled about what God has in store. We've been praying about this for over three years. Yeah. And because of COVID, you, you know, in Israel, you guys shut down here just like they did around the world. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of challenges. I mean, but the Lord provided. And uh, he was victorious, as and, usual. And, and your <laughs> friend who, who built the studio the, for us. Yes, the, the construction company, yeah. actually. They gave their life to the Lord. Amen. The, the, the so. manager with his wife <laughs> and his four children. Isn't that amazing? They're all so becoming that. Yeah. <laughs> when they were hearing the message and reading, they said, this is the truth. Now, now, there's a young lady who just translated my sermons. That's right. And what's yeah. happening in her life? Well, uh, she is, um, she, that's another miracle. <laughs> yeah, it's another story on its own. Uh, the way the Lord, how, uh, how he found her. Yeah, and uh, at, the, at the end, I was informed by her that she received a vision. Wow. That she was standing in the darkness and this light and this call, uh, voice in the light calling Amen. her, come to me. Wow. Yeah. I am uh, I am the way. Amen. And Amen. then she saw herself in this in this vision uh, coming out from the darkness going to the light. And praise the Lord, that was the result of translating your <laughs> series. Amen. That, that's very humbling. Uh, that caused her, caused her to search more and more wow. for the truth. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, now she gave her heart uh, to the Lord. Amen. I and can't we're wait. we're waiting for baptizing her. her. That's exciting. That's exciting, yes. Louis. Very exciting. Yeah. It is so exciting, Wilson, that uh, number one, what God did for you, and then what God is doing through you as well in reaching people in this community. And uh, who knows how far this will go? Because we know that even though somebody has heard here, mm -hmm. then that person shares it with somebody else someplace else. And God only knows how many people will be in the kingdom as a result of this experience that you're having here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Where we will go yeah, is to fulfill the prophecy. Yeah. Where we will go is the goal that the house of the Lord is not supposed to be empty. Amen. The Amen. Lord will call all his children from right. north, south, east, and west. Yes. And yes. he's using us right. as a church, yep. the remnant, Amen. to broadcast yep. and, and then to baptize in Amen. order to fill the house. Amen. Amen. And that's the fulfillment yeah. of the, the command of Jesus. And that's what AWR is all about, to go and preach and teach and baptize. Amen. Thank you, Wisdom. I, I want to pray. I, I want to pray for what's happening here, what will happen, what God has in store. So let's, let's pray again for, for our work here in Nazareth where Jesus grew up. Father in heaven, we are humbled that you have asked us, AWR, to do this work. We thank you for it, that you've asked the Adventist Church. We're so happy to be a part of it. I pray that as we reach the world through through our radio broadcast around the world, through the, the one that's being established right here in Nazareth, 
through this evangelism center, as Louis trains young people, as, as Weesom trains them, as, as we work together to reach this part of the world. And then from here to all around the world, from the Arab countries all the way to Bangladesh, to Pakistan, to Thailand, to China, wherever the, the signals may go, we pray that people will listen and make decisions for Jesus. So this work can be finished. Jesus will come and we'll get off of this old ball of mud and go home. I thank you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen.